Hey, you're back here for more fun on the solar install for a Numar Mountain Air. There it is, right behind me. Uh, glad to have you along. Uh, this is part two of this install where we're wrapping up the solar, uh, installing the Serbo GX display. Uh, we got a Micro Air Easy Touch uh, controller installed, uh, installing Starlink, and just button up everything else. Might even do a little bit of programming. Uh, so if you want to see how we got here, check out part one. It'll be in the link in the description down below. Check that out. But uh, I want to show you what I'm working on right now. And it's a question I get once in a while, which is how do you fish stuff down difficult vent tubes? Uh, just had a uh, customer who bought their equipment with us wondering, hey, how do you get things down through here? Well, I'm uh, two thirds of the way down and I'm not even sure I'm gonna be able to get this second set of conductors down there. Uh, we got the Starlink ethernet cable, one set of solar wires already pulled and I'm doing the other ones. Now, what was tricky with this is it actually goes at a, it goes down and then it goes over, down and then it comes back. So it's really tough. I couldn't use a fish tape. A fish tape was too stiff and it was getting wedged against uh, the sides and where the joints are in the PVC pipe. But this string and a little nut here, that worked perfect to get it down. And then uh, what I did is I pulled enough strings so I could just basically pull it back and forth and pass things up or down as needed. So hopefully this is gonna work. I'm gonna feed it down there as best I can. And uh, then we'll let the string do the rest on the other side. And uh, I don't know. <laughs> If you see this entire video, it probably worked out one way or another. Well, it hasn't always been easy, but nothing worth doing generally is. And this is worth doing. We are done up here. I still got work down downstairs or down whatever inside. This is this is kind of the upstairs in our in an RV, isn't it? All right, let me show you what we did. All right, so here's uh, what we did here. We've got. Uh, two strings, okay, so two separate sets of panels, so that means four conductors going down there, plus a Starlink right there, we got, just got that mounted. This is this 3D printed mount, it's a little tricky to put together, I put some uh, VHB tape on the inside, screwed down the mount, and then just set the panel on there. Uh, hopefully it holds pretty good. Uh, that's what the customer ordered, so that's what we took care of. So. Uh, as so far as how the panels are wired, I know a lot of people have questions on this and, and that sort of stuff. So these are what they call 24 volt panels. Don't get scared. This is a 12 volt system. You can use 24 volt panels on a 12 volt system. It's just fine. They actually run at about 45 volts to 37 volts typically. And when you put those in series, the voltage gets up to about 75 to 90. That's good for conducting power down these smaller wires into the charge controllers. This is what we want, this is a good thing, okay? So we got those panels in series. Then I got this panel and this panel in series. Then I paralleled those two pan these two groups together. That's one string. Then this string, this is one panel, comes up here, paralleled, or no, sorry, series into that panel. So that means positive, negative. That's basically acting as one 400 watt panel. These are 200 watts each. Then that's paralleled with these two panels, which are in series. And then that comes back here, underneath that panel, and all the way back there. So that's how you get 1600 watts down tiny little wires. And we were actually getting, uh, we, we were a little hazy today, uh, but we were getting about 50% of that output and I just turned these on at about three o'clock or so. So they were doing pretty good. It's about six o'clock now after I cleaned everything up, screwed it all down. I like to hook it all up first because that way if there's a problem, I can easily uh, undo it and fix it without having to take up everything, okay? So, um, oh, and I fixed that too. If you remember from the previous video, uh, I accidentally broke that cover. That Lexan was 20 years old just crumbled. I could break it with my bare hands. Mm. I'm not strong enough to do that. With these, I could probably stand on them. Okay, I'm not going to do that, but just trust me. 
All right, I gotta get this all down and uh, hopefully finish up the last bit of it before sundown. That would be my goal. And that way, all of you who like to watch the videos as they come out, you can watch this Sunday morning. And if that's you, happy Sunday morning. Hope you're enjoying your coffee. If you're watching it later on another time, I hope you're enjoying whatever you're doing, whatever time of day, whatever time of year. Who knows, maybe it's Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> this is so weird. This is so weird. So what do we got here, right? Well, here's the uh, frame for a seven inch Serbo GX display. And this is gonna be a board to adhere it to, but I gotta make it look nice. So I've got some leftover vinyl from my, uh, my bus build. I've got a whole bunch of leftover upholstery that I saved just for something like this. Sometimes uh, people might get after me for keeping a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that I don't use a whole lot, but it's times like this where I'm really glad that I did. Uh, I'm hoping to add some more shelves in here to hold even more stuff. And here it is installed in this back cabinet. We're back in the bedroom. Got it all wired up. Using the power from here, just to put in a fuse. In the bottom one, a little 10 amp fuse and a, one of these guys, a little DC-DC converter. It takes in 12 to 24 and spits out a nice USB signal at three amps. Can't beat that. I've got a little bit of programming to do on here yet, but uh, this is installed, so that's good. Like I said, this is all taken care of. Can start zip tying and tidying this up a little bit. Starlink's gonna go back here, so we'll get that going as well. And uh, we're kind of getting in the mode of cleaning up now. All right, I think it's time to uh, reveal everything and wrap up here. We've got uh, everything working here, GUI mods on there, the inverter inverting. Uh, the only power that I have on here are just some uh, these lights in here, but they're all incandescent, so it's using 20 amps. But uh, this customer has nearly 1,000 amp hours, so they can do that for a little over a day, day and a half. Uh, and what else here? Yeah, that's got this tidied up. And Starlink is linking, so that system is going out. Got that taken care of down there. And uh, some of you may notice this little thing here. Uh, we did this for the customer, put in a uh, swivel TV mount. This used to be hard mounted to here and the only access you had was back through there. So now you wanna access Starlink or whatever else you got going there, you just hinge this out. And then this also, you know, you can tilt it out here so you can watch in bed or whatever. It actually, you know, it tilts down, tilts up. All that great TV stuff. And then of course, this is the outside compartment. We went for the uh, just lights on the ceiling because that's about all we had room for. That's a uh, little motion activated light. So when this panel opens, this bay is automatically filled with light. Works pretty good. Here's how this entire bay ended up working out. Customer was really concerned that not everything was gonna fit in here. And not only will everything fit in here, there's room for another MultiPlus if I really wanted to. Uh, I do have that cover to get back on there, but uh, forgive me, it is getting a little bit late here. <laughs> it's about uh, well after nine. I don't think it's quite 10 o'clock yet, but I wanted to show you guys how this turned out. Got our main disconnect, main solar breakers, Servo and all his friends, two charge controllers, the links working and all lit up. Battery monitor on there, of course. Oh, oh, and look at this guy. Look who showed up. Hey, little bear. All right, uh, looking good. We can't just stay here and stare at this all night. We gotta wrap this video up. Let's go in the shop. Well, thank you once again for following along on a amazing journey. Uh, it did take a little bit longer than we typically, uh, what it typically takes us to do a project like this, but uh, I appreciate you making it to the end. Uh, if you want something like this done to your RV, uh, contact us at sotasolar.com, S-O-T-A-S-O-L-A-R.com. And what else? Uh, we do help people with their own installs. I will admit we're a little busy to give those attention. In the winter, we can do that a little bit more, but I'm forever working on our 
new website where we, we will be able to sell kits and um, other things like that with some of our own drawings and some other products that we've developed like that LED links cable. A lot of people really want that. I just, I don't have time to make them <laughs> right now. Uh, but I will soon, I'm hoping. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching once again. Leave a comment down below of uh, what you liked in this video, what you'd like to see more of. What do you want me to focus on during these installs? Uh, for the most part, I'm showing what's interesting to me because I can't just keep talking about the same thing over and over and over again. Although I do, my kids tell me that all the time. All right, I'm rambling, like I said. <laughs> all right, we will catch you guys next time. Thank you.